Hey everyone, it's Matt from KenHub, and in this tutorial, we will discuss the anatomy and function of the adductor longus. The adductors of the hip are part of the inner hip musculature and range from the lower pelvic bone to the femur and knee region. They lie in between the extensor and flexor group of the thigh muscles. The hip adductors shape the surface anatomy of the medial thigh. This tutorial will feature one of the adductors known as the adductor longus. The adductor longus muscle has its origin at the superior pubic ramus and the pubic symphysis and its insertion at the linea aspera. Distally, it forms an aponeurosis extending to the vastus medialis muscle and also called the vasto-adductorial membrane. The innervation is mainly supplied by the obturator nerve, which arises from the lumbar plexus and reaches the adductors through the obturator canal. Both the femoral artery and vein, as well as the saphenous nerve, proceed within a groove between the adductor magnus, adductor longus, and vastus medialis muscles. This so-called adductor canal, or hunter's canal, is ventrally covered by the vasto-adductorial membrane. Distally, it ends between the fleshy and tendinous insertion of the adductor magnus and leads to the popliteal fossa. As the name suggests, the main function of the hip adductors is the adduction of the hip joint. Furthermore, the adductor longus supports flexion. The hip adductors are particularly used when crossing one's legs. Overall, they play an important role in balancing the pelvis during standing and walking. This video is more fun than reading a textbook, right? If you want more videos, interactive quizzes, articles, and an atlas of human anatomy, click on the Take Me to Ken Hub button. It is time to say goodbye to your old textbooks and say hello to your new anatomy learning partner, Ken Hub. See you there.